got another pod mod system for you guys today. Hey vapers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Pearl pod mod style vaping system. Alright guys, yes, so the Pearl comes in a box like so. It is plastic, very nice, and I have a couple for giveaways for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Now I do have my Pearl here in white. OMG, isn't this a crazy shape? So the package does come with one Pearl with a pod in it a user's manual, and a box of accessories that include a micro USB to USB charge cord, an extra pod, and two dripper funnels to fill up your pod. Here's what the pod looks like, and it does hold two mils of e-liquid, so it is TPD compliant. You can get two replacement pods for $16. You can refill them up to 15 times. You just take out the mouthpiece. You want to fill in the two smaller holes on either side, not this large area. These two, that's why you need the dripper funnels to fill it up. These are made with ABS plastic and the mouthpiece is medical grade silicone and they have a ceramic heating element inside. So here is my pearl and it weighs about 70 grams. It's 10 centimeters by 4.9 centimeters by 1.9 centimeters. It does have a 1,150 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. It takes about 60 minutes to fully charge and it claims to have 12 hours of non-stop usage for battery life and then 90 days standby. It only comes in black or white and it is inhale activated, different vaping settings for low, medium, and high. And then this touch center, you double tap to check the battery life and it says green, red or yellow. Green is 50 to 100%, yellow is 25 to 50%, and red is lower than 25, you need to charge it. You touch and hold for three seconds, tap to change between your setting modes, and then you touch and hold for three seconds to activate each setting. So I'm going to remove my pod and fill it up. There is a viewing window for the e-liquid level, and the charge port is here on the bottom at the back of the device. This is the most interesting shaped device I've ever seen. And I am filling mine up today with Bonsai Vapors Season Collection. This is their winter line. This is Summit's Kiss. It is a peppermint red velvet cake. It is so freaking yummy. It is definitely my flavor for the season. I'm going to put the dripper funnel on the tip and then I'm gonna stick the dripper funnel end into the small hole to carefully fill it. Let's see how messy this can be it's going in pretty easy all right do I want to try I got like almost a mill of e-liquid in there and I don't think I'm gonna try to do this again just because it can get a little messy they do recommend that you let this sit for about two minutes to wick up so I'm gonna put the mouse piece back on here make sure I'm putting it on the right way and then stick the pod back in. It is magnetic, so there is magnetic contacts inside the pearl and in on the little pod. Just push it back in there. All right, so I have it at setting one. It has been wicked up for a few minutes. Let's test it out. Oh, I, I wasn't feeling any vapor coming. There is a little bit of a delay, but it's not even like a one second delay. So that's level one. It's giving me little puffs. I'm gonna go to level two and hopefully that will give me a little bit bigger of a puff. I feel like there's a little bit bigger of a cloud. The airflow isn't changing at all. I'm not aware of any adjustable airflow or ways to change airflow. There is a little bit of airflow, but I'm wondering how they get the airflow, if it's coming from the sides or something, because there isn't like an actual little airflow inlet on it that I see. So that's level two. And now let's take it up to three. This is the highest vaping level that it has. There was definitely a noticeably different cloud production from the one to three. The airflow has remained the same. It's definitely a tighter draw. So I feel like this is better for a mouth to lung inhales with a higher nicotine level, but it does say that you can do low nicotine and direct to lung, which is what I'm doing. But with the airflow as tight as it is, it's definitely probably more catered towards mouth to lung users. 
Mmm. I love this flavor though. It's so wintry with the peppermint and the red velvet cake flavor. But it's like, how do you hold this? It's so funky. <laughs> hold it like this. So that is the pearl device. Really interesting. I, I'm kind of living for the shape of it. And I will be giving one away on this video. All you have to do is check the description box below for the giveaway details. And I will be giving away another one over on my Instagram shortly. And I have one more that I will be giving away over on my Patreon. And you can get this kit for around $60, I believe. I'll leave a link below to where you can check it out. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below. I've also started a Patreon account where I do vape-related monthly rewards over there. Like you can choose to get e-liquids sent to you monthly from me or mod and e-liquids sent to you from me every single month. So check the description box below for that link if that's something that might interest you. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.